guys that are worth more, that will benefit your life more, they're not just gonna want pussy from you. And that's a fact. Or could it be that the men that only want sex from women is because that's all that the women have to offer? Because for me, if pussy is all you're offering, pussy is all I want. Yeah. Welcome to the S Banks and the JD Network podcast. I'm your host, S Banks, and I'm joined with my co host, JD. So, what are we talking about today? If is all you're offering, <laughs> then that's all men want. We spoke before shooting. Uh -huh. <laughs> men want that regardless. I know. <laughs> Any excuse, right? Whether well, you're offering it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. We have three clips for you today. We're going to um, come back after each clip, give you our thoughts. But without further delay, let's jump right in and play clip number one. Here goes. I like being ran. Yes, I like being bangs. I like being manhandled by several different men at once. If you want to call it being ran, you call whatever the fuck you want. I'm sexually liberated <laughs> and I'm a like goddess it. and I deserve to have hands all over my body. <laughs> right. I, like I deserve to be worshipped. Like, why not? I deserve that attention. Shout out to her for letting the man them know, bruv, what it is. All I know is if you're going to go there, bruv, you better strap up, bruv. You get me? You better bring 50 doms, bruv. Put on a hazmat suit. Put on another human being's outfit, bruv. Become a tether, bruv, and, and beat that. No nocturne. You gotta be careful with gal like that, bruv, because you don't wear a ting, it could all go wrong, and next thing you know, you're forever surviving on tablets and using ointments and creams, bruv. You got mysterious sores over your body, bruv. Next thing you know, you got a random cold. Start coughing and getting nosebleeds, bruv. This is a mad thing. Okay. It's a mad thing, bruv. Very mad. <laughs> um, there's a lot of truth to that. Um, there is. She's sexually liberated. So my first note is she can be a whole, a whole garden tool, trying to be nice here, to many men. But in the very same breath, she wants to be taken seriously for long-term commitment. That's how many women are. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay, go on. I was going to say, with her, and I've heard this a lot, when I'm generalizing, a lot of women don't know if they're coming or going. She says she's a goddess. Mm -hmm. I beg to differ. But <laughs> let me massage in slowly. Okay. <laughs> before I cook. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts? My first thought was, well, at least she's honest. Now, this makes it easier for men to see who mm. they should take seriously and who they shouldn't take seriously. So she's made it very easy for men to identify, okay, you're just a beat thing. This is nothing more with you. It's, it's plain as day. She said it. Yeah, I think like a lot of women nowadays, social media is their digital diary mm -hmm. and they tell on themselves and men want to hear that. But at the, at the same time, a lot of men that w were beta that were simps, that were, let me say, naive, they're waking up to the harsh reality mm -hmm. of the kind of women that they have to pick from. And if women are so sexually liberated and body count doesn't matter, why do they hide their body count? Mm, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and ladies, put in the comments, maybe you know something I don't. Why do they hide their body count? They're sexually liberated. I can do what I want to do. If a man can do it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. So why you hide your body count? Because they know it's wrong. <laughs> That's why. Because if you was <laughs> so sexually liberated or you thought it was such a good thing that you're doing, you would tell the guy, yeah, I slept with 50 guys. You'll just be like, yeah. 50 guys is a lot. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if you knew it was right, that that's what you should be doing, you would say to the guy, mm. I don't have a problem with telling you my body count. It's fine. Just say it it's, out loud. Exactly. But they don't. I remember um, Andrew Tate. I don't know what shirt it was on. And he was like, if women walked around with their body counts on their head, mm -hmm. most men wouldn't pursue. That's very true. <laughs> most men wouldn't pursue. It's lucky like, enough, really? Lucky enough for women, 
that doesn't happen. Because <laughs> imagine if it did. They should walk around the body count on their head. Most men will say, what was I thinking? Like, God damn, the body's banging, but mm. nah, nah, that body count is too much. Well, well, they, well, they, they wouldn't go take, go well, go they on. wouldn't take the girls seriously. They would hook <laughs> up with them, but just not on serious I level. Think most men just want to hook up. Mm -hmm. But the thing is this. Okay, let me ask a question. What number does a woman need to be before she starts being a hoe? <laughs> what is it? Is it one to five? Is it five to ten? Fellas, <laughs> where, what number is it where a woman starts to become a hoe? Mm -hmm. What do you What do you think? What like keep a hundred? Well, <laughs> from a man's view, you can't by do that. You can't say from a man's view. No, I'll say from a man's view, mm. five would be a lot because it's five dicks. <laughs> so it's like, that's like, right. When, when you put it like that, it don't sound good. So but yeah. then men would class that to be, yeah, you're reaching whole levels. You've got five, five mm. bodies, right? I think a lot of females think very differently <clears throat> in regards to that. I How think, do women think? I think. I, I want I want to hear inside the mind of a woman. Well, it's not necessarily inside of my brain. Or your but thoughts. I'm just saying. Yeah. I think a lot of women don't think five is a lot of bodies. Okay, okay. I, I see you going with that. The reason why I say that is because if you were to really ask women their body count and they were to tell the truth, mm. you would hear how that they've had pure bodies. Skeletons, cemeteries. So I'm just saying, I don't think women see it like in that way. I think they see it how this woman sees it. She's talking about having yeah. five men at one time. So then imagine her body count but, altogether. But is she saying that based on the attention okay this is one of my notes women tell on themselves mm -hmm. attention is a woman's currency so for me it's like why would you tell everybody that but the the, the um attention is too much mm -hmm. she's engulfed in all that attention right and for your future husband he's gonna see this mm -hmm. or the guy that you want to take you seriously is gonna mm -hmm. see this so why do it see this is the issue i have with women this is the same <laughs> issue because yeah. women will complain. Whew, they will complain and mm. talk about how men don't take them seriously. They can't find a good man. I wonder and why. Blah, blah, blah. But then like this female and like many others, they tell on themselves. They say the same thing she said or similar or things around it. Mm. And it's like, why did you say? Okay. Say <laughs> you said it. Why are you recording it? Why? Are you okay. Say so you recorded it. Why did you post it? Now mm. everybody knows your thoughts. And like you said, a lot of women do use social media as... Um, Trout chasing, attention not just seeking. That, their diary. It's their diary. Yeah. Go back to having a pen and a little booklet. Yeah, that used to hide from your Go parents. Go back to that, okay? <laughs> when you want to talk about your dirty little secrets or whatever else you, you're thinking about, write it in a your pen and pad. Your little nastiness that you do behind closed doors put it in a pen and pad like stop recording it and stop posting it for the world to see pookie had me bent over and ray ray <laughs> was doing xyz okay that may be the case but why does everyone have to know that uh, again attention is a woman's currency and, and i just don't understand why they tell on themselves and it's all good for us because we're mm -hmm. creating content <laughs> but i'm not complaining do your thing but fellas any takers Who's taking women like this seriously? You know, and, and I want to say a couple more things. Which kind of goddesses like random, random men's hands over their body? And this is um, what we're witnessing here is the Jezebel spirit. Mm. It's the Jezebel spirit, that man. Jezebel. Chicks, look, <laughs> if I wanted to take her seriously, I just can't do it. Mm. I just can't do it, man. I'm sorry. There's too much. And speaking on emotional <laughs> damage, I think mm. women mm. who do things like what this woman is saying have very deep issues. There's a, there's a lot of women. You need that's, to sort it out. But that's what I said to you. There's emotional damage. That's why I said off of that, mm. you need to sort out your issues. Um, like women will complain, like I said before, that men don't take them seriously. It's like, well, well what do you expect? Or look what men have to pick from. Exactly. <laughs> what happened to staying with one man? 
Yeah, right. Having that, one dick. That's a, that, that's a thing of the past. <laughs> remember the song? One man to my, mm, mm, yeah. Remember the song? Yeah, I remember the song. Exactly. Everyone used to be like, yeah, blah, Women blah, blah. Be proud e- of that. Even though, even though they had no one man, they've had multiple, but, but they're they still singing along saying, yeah, one man to my, But they knew my, what mm, they were supposed to do. Exactly. Inherently, biologically, they knew what, what needed to be done, but were they doing that? No. But <laughs> my f- last thing I want to say on this is, what happens when looks fade? Do you think the women that agree with her are still going to be singing the same tune? Or are they going to be saying something different? Because looks fade as women hit the wall. And you know, as they hit the wall, mm-hmm. then it's like, oh. Oh, now she wants to cash out. And I want to be taken seriously. You mean when she gets a certain So age. women like her mm-hmm. is going to change, their, change her tune. Yeah. Women that agree with her mm-hmm. will change their tune mm-hmm. when their looks fade. Mm-hmm. Which when which is when they hit the wall. Mm-hmm. Do you think that this woman will be singing the same tune when she wants a man or she meets a dude that she wants seriously for long term commitment? They will definitely change her tune. Oh, I know that. But anyways, that's a fact. That's our thoughts on that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And any takers, share in the comments, <laughs> guys. What's your thoughts? Well, and, one in the chat if you want her. <laughs> and be respectful. <laughs> be respectful. Anyways, let's move on to clip number two. Here it goes. Because that's all guys want. All guys want is pussy. Yeah. Swear what? to God. What? No, no, no. Let me rephrase that. Shitty men want pussy, and that's all they want from you. Hire guys that are worth more, that will benefit your life more. They're not just going to want pussy from you. And that's a fact. Or could it be that the men that only want sex from women is because that's all that the women have to offer. Because for me, if pussy is all you're offering, pussy is all I want. Yeah. Okay. To me, mm-hmm. that was a no-brainer. Mm-hmm. I lost question. Outside of bedroom fun, what do so many women have to offer? And any women, probably the 1% of women that do watch the channel, put in the comments. Outside of bedroom fun, what do you have to offer? Mm. How do you stand out in this cesspool, in the BS? So a guy will take you seriously. Are you willing to compete for the guy that you say you want? Mm. I don't want to hear no, I can compete for some man. This means you're not ready yet. This means you ain't ready yet. That means you're far from being ready. But outside of bedroom fun, what do you have to offer? Well, ladies, <laughs> wait in the comment section. Exactly. What else do you offer other than your coochie? Mm. Um, <laughs> a man will ask a woman, what do you bring to the table? Like you said. Not, but Not that we recommend it though. We shouldn't, we, we don't recommend answering, uh, asking that question, but we, re- we recommend asking questions mm-hmm. <laughs> in order to screen and vet. But don't be like, what do you bring to the table? Because it's kind of dumb. I think, I think you can ask that question. No, you, I, okay, I think you, you should be able Let me change my wording <laughs> I think men should be able mm. To ask that question Because women are bright enough to say How much money do you make? No, what that, job do you that's have? Fine. So men should be able to ask but then, If I'm bringing all of this to your mm-hmm. table What do you bring to my table? The thing, the thing is this Your teacher <laughs> I, I try to tell men To understand women mm-hmm. And Use women's hypergamy mm-hmm. against them. Reverse. Okay. <laughs> it's the truth. Because if you say, what do you bring to the table? Mm-hmm. She's going to go, I am the table. Mm-hmm. We've all heard it before. Then so- at that point, <laughs> you know what type of woman she is. And you better just get up and walk away. It makes it easier yeah, for you. She might have a, 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 a nice rump, slim waist. And man might say, boy, I still want to hit though. Okay. I that's taking it seriously. That's There's it. great areas. There are great areas. Exactly. I'm just saying, I personally think you should be able to ask any question you want to. The same way women can ask whatever question they want to. But in reality, My though. problem is that a lot of women get angry with that question. <laughs> That's because they have nothing to bring to exactly, the table. Exactly, <laughs> because they have nothing. And I think women that's okay with receiving that question, they can probably more offer a man something. Because mm. why am I getting in my feelings or acting silly Mm -hmm. because you've asked me what do i bring to the table oh that's silly about that is that cool this is what i bring this is what you want to bring 
um, a theory and not practicality. I hear you and I agree. But in the real world, it doesn't go like that. You got to screen and vet. You know, if you're trying to suss a woman out for long term commitment, then you're going to take a bit more. You're going to bring the magnifying glass a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. You're going to take a bit more time if it's just a smash thing, because I think most men from meeting a woman within five, ten minutes, you kind of know if that's someone you would take serious. Mm -hmm. And more time, you saying what do you bring to the table? She's going to respond in a certain way, even if she is to be taken seriously or not. I don't think you should ask a question. I think it's the type of woman you're asking there. I'm not. But well, you gotta gauge that through questions and, and, yeah. and you building a rapport with that yeah. woman. That, I, that's why I think. I agree with you there, as in, yeah, what you pretty much just said. But there are some women out there that don't mind that question. It's like, all right, cool. That's true. We're having a grown up conversation. That's true. So but you're gonna realize at least 80, 90% of women, when you ask that question, you're going to mess up the whole thing. I'm just telling you that for free. Okay. That's most, fine. Okay, most men want to smash. Mm -hmm. But after the smash, whose job is it to maintain the relationship? I would argue it's the woman's job. I would Because the guy wants the, the guts. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> women don't want to maintain the guy after the smash. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Or after the marriage. After the marriage. That's, that's a different story. <laughs> I'm talking a guy likes you. Mm -hmm. He likes to look at you. You end up doing your thing. Mm -hmm. You want something more with this guy. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that you should put some effort in and not make him feel um, disposable, mm -hmm. expendable? Mm -hmm. Don't you think that you should do things that where you stand out? Because any guy that you meet and any chick that you meet, they're going to be talking to other people. Mm -hmm. So obviously for you to be dealing with me, and I'm talking normal person, not that, that. So for you to be dealing with me, you must be taking me seriously. And for me to be doing the same thing with you. But sometimes you find that women after the smash that there's nothing more to offer. She's nothing outside of those free holes. Mm. Outside mm -mm. of those free glory holes. Free holes, you know. Yeah, the glory holes. <laughs> there's nothing more to offer. So then that's why a lot of chicks get ghosted. I'm sorry. I'm just giving up the free game. The, the, the buyers of the product is telling you how they feel. I'm giving you the survey and the survey is back and it ain't good. A lot mm -hmm. of women get ghosted for these reasons because they can't maintain the man whole smash. True. True. <laughs> Another thing women do mm. is that they'll be like, like the, the woman in the first clip, for example. And then... It's like, well, if you're acting like a garden tool, you'll be treated like a garden tool. So mm. what's the confusion here? Yeah. So if men say, oh, this is what I want, this is what I don't want. I don't want a wifey, a garden tool. Mm -hmm. But you still choose to have your hot girl summer and then mm. wonder why the guy doesn't want to take you seriously mm -hmm. and then complain about it. Yeah, but Don't complain. Yeah, but women will complain about where's all the good men gone exactly. and then thank you they're going for all the f boys waiting at the f boy terminal for all the f boys to, to um dock in mm. and then when they ran through and pookie and rary brad used and chad up. had enough of them and yes exactly used up chewed up spat out then they say hey hey big head how many people have heard that all of us have heard that whether you're mm -hmm. high value to low value we've all heard that oh i'm supposed to take i'm yours all of this okay Oh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All of this. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. much, there's so much enthusiasm in it. Mm. That's my thoughts on it. But people, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Give us some of your thoughts and let us know where you're at with it. Do you want to add anything more before we play the final clip of the day? I would just say that a lot of women <clears throat> need to point the mirror at themselves when it comes to, let's say, Let's just call it take some accountability. Basically, when, mm -hmm. accountability, right? And that's kryptonite to women. That ain't going to happen. So when you talk about the mirror, that ain't going to happen. Have you seen what men are supposed to um, sift through and pick from? The guy simply said, well, if that's what you're offering, then that's all a guy's going to accept. Mm. If you're offering more, then I'm sure he will accept that too. <laughs> I tried. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyways, let's move along. Let's move along. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Here's clip number three. Pleasing a man is yeah. what gets me off. That's why I love suck so much. I've sucked so much more than I have actually people because that's that's like my fetish and that sounds so pick me and i think like people are gonna be like oh she's just saying that but that really is i just love i get off on like giving Please other people in. pleasure yeah so if you're blowing a dude and he's like hey we're we gonna are we gonna f this you just like no here's the thing i get the best head like out of anyone ever I know. I, and i've ever seen you though I, I that, do. That's like, that's like a new movie coming out. I've oh, no. never, no, I've I, never. Every, random, like the Omaha Times dude, said number one movie I have year. watched her get in person, like with my own eyes so many times. And it's truly like, even I, I will sit back and watch it. And I'm like, this is oh, she's like, wow, nuts. I'm watching the Mona Lisa. Like, this I, is what's your go-to move? What's your Gluck Gluck 3000? I have this really Gluck Gluck crazy rule right, though. People, girls try it. Girls try to replicate it. And no one can do it like how she does I it. I think I'm meant to suck. Wow. I think I'm meant to suck dick. <laughs> Most men like her. Sign me up. <laughs> Sign oh, wow. me up. Um, the Gork Gork 3000. Master. How many women take pride in pleasing their men? Mm -hmm. Fellas, share your thoughts in the comments. Women do the same. Do you take pride in pleasing your men? Do you get off on getting him off? Putting him first. Mm -hmm. That's rare. Nowadays anyway. That's the thing of the past. But share your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know where you're at. Where are you at with that? Well, I can't speak for every woman. <laughs> but she's clearly a pleaser. Yeah. <laughs> she likes to please. Um, some women like to please. And I guess some women like to be pleased yeah um i don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to be pleased but i think it's on a different level when you want to please selfish. your partner yeah i think it's a it's a, it's a different level when you want to please your partner and for her to say that she gets off of doing it she's saying i don't even want you to waste your energy in hitting this Mm -hmm. Sit back and relax, man. Mm. Sit back. <laughs> okay. That's what she's saying. Just don't do anything. Just sit back. I'll do all the work. Mm, 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 mm. I'll do all the work. Music to many men's thank ears, you, man. right? Yes, men are thinking, thank you. I appreciate yeah, that, man. Damn, what's her number? Yes. We're going to play it in the comments. Yeah, where's her joking. act? What's her, what's her Insta? <laughs> I'm going to try to find that. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> men are thinking, I don't get this. How many men are in sexless marriages and relationships mm. and they don't even get that they don't get that that's true um i think well everyone has their own love language and i guess that's hers <laughs> and we want to be like that low job. we like that language <laughs> um yeah everyone's sex language is different clearly that's her sex language yeah. what i can't get over is her friend <laughs> She's like, oh, she's I've seen, watched her she's multiple seen the, times. The Mona Lisa. Is that okay? Is that how you look at them? She's seen the work of art. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. She's seen the work of art, right? And it's like, wow, listen, even a friend's impressed. But it is what it is. Um, if she's a pick me, it seems that the pick me's are winning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because she gets off on getting her man off. Mm -hmm. And she'll be classed as a pick me for putting a man before herself and that's a wonderful thing mm -hmm. so the pick me the pick me's are up pick me you know they say city boys up city girls up mm -hmm. pick me's are up too because they seem to be beating the city girls hands down easy mm. <laughs> facts what else do you want to add on that um hmm. question to the fellas okay fellas how many of you have experienced having a woman who wanted to please you mm. how many have you how, sorry how many of you have had a woman you know that is down for what she's trying to do you know that, that who wants was, to um, please you that was one of my questions i was going to ask as well um yeah so guys put, put in the comments if you have yeah had a woman that is a pleaser then put a one in the comment we're section. We're talking gawk, gawk. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not necessarily gawk, I don't mean gawk. that, but I'm saying who's <laughs> yeah, yeah. happy to please you in the yeah. bedroom. Yeah, yeah. So put in the comments, 
if you've experienced in today's culture and today's women where they're putting you first your your food comes first she looks after you and at the end of the day you get your back rubbed and your gawk gawk 3000 she says sit back you don't need to hit this if you want to you could it's up to you mm. but let me do the work sit back in your nice recliner chair okay and i'm gonna do my thing i'm gonna go to work <laughs> <laughs> what else you want to add before we close out <laughs> um to subscribe leave a comment share <clears throat> and i hope you've enjoyed yourself today yes anyways i'm not easily gassed so outside of the got got 3000 and um how do you say was it steak and bj wednesdays whoever knows knows mm -hmm. so in certain parts <laughs> of the uk they have this thing called a um, steak and BJ Wednesdays. Whoever knows, knows. But outside of that, what does she offer or women like that? What do they offer outside of um, bedroom fun? Mm -hmm. That's the real question. Because it's all fine and dandy that we get in that nice pleasure. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to the skin, right? It's all nice. But do most women offer more outside of that? And I think most men might say, I don't want anything more outside of that. Mm -hmm. Hey, I feel you. <laughs> but does, does a lot of women offer more outside of bedroom fun? Particularly in this case, the Gawk Gawk 3000. No. They hey. don't. Hey, I just, I just want to leave it there. But anyways, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Share your thoughts in the comments. That's my final thought. Do you want to add anything before we close out? Peace, y'all. Okay. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. See you in the next one. Peace.